Good evening. <laughs> Do you know who that was supposed to be? Alfred Hitchcock. Good evening. Who that used to, you know, I remember my mom loving that show. It was a series back when I was a kid. And just whenever he would say, good evening, ooh, it would creep me out so bad, I'd have nightmares. Did she care? Nope. Not at all. We still had to watch that and some other spooky show. Rod Sterling was the host. But can't remember the name of the show but like each week they would have two or three little shows in one and they were always different and it was always spooky okay whatever got me on that because this is not spooky even though it's Halloween month and my last video was Halloween cards this is good things these are layouts and here's something you just don't see often on YouTube. Double page layouts. I used to do like nothing but double page layouts. And this is going back like probably two or three years. Three years. Uh, Patty Sandberg and I developed a friendship and we did a challenge with each other and she never did double page layouts and I never did single page layouts can you imagine that but it's true go back and look at my videos back in the beginning and so we challenged each other like we gave each other a list of you know you have to do this you have to do that and mine was a single page hers was a double page now, Miss Patty, I'm always doing single-page layouts now, but you're not always doing double-page layouts. What's up with that, Mrs. Sandberg? Do we need to do another challenge, my friend? We will. Don't make me come after you. I love you, Patty. If you're watching, I know you're a busy girl. Anyway, so... You never see double page layouts. And sometimes I feel like if you have a lot of pictures. Hey, I just thought of something. I bet the reason we don't do as many double page layouts is because we have the um, page protectors for Project Life. Right? That's probably why we don't have to do these. Anyway, I'm going to toss this little challenge out to you. If you're watching this video and you feel so inclined, do a double page layout and then leave the link below. I think you can do that, right? I hope I don't get kicked off of YouTube for saying that. Please, YouTube, don't, don't do that to me. My life would be over. I can take no more loss this year. Anyway, put a link to below. If you do a double page layout, please at least mention it in the comments below. And you guys who are here watching this video, look down below, like down there, and see if anybody played along. I'm just going to go on and say this. Here's who I would love to see. Uh, a double page layout from Craft and Kate. I would love to see a double page layout from you. Patty Sandberg. <laughs> I know you can do them. Do it again. Sandra and Lisa. Oh, oh, I started to say oh scrap. Oh snap Gonzo and Maggie Milo. Oh Lisa, if you're watching this, I just want to verbally say, I, I just feel your pain, honey, and I'm so sorry to hear about Milo. I, I really am. When my dogs passed, they, they passed within three months of each other. I had one for 12 years and one for 14 years, and oh, I was a mess 
for several weeks, which means like two months. Anyway, Lisa's, Lisa, kiss, kiss, hug, hug. I, I wish I could do something for you. Um, I, I would love to see you do a double page layout, you and Sandra. Who else? Cat, Kathleen Driggers. Let's see what you got. Now, I'm being presumptuous to think that these people even watch my videos. I know they used to, but I know times are busy. And here's another one. Colleen, let's see a double-page layout. But even if I, you know, I didn't say your name, I probably will think of you as soon as the camera goes off. Let me see your double-page layout. I would love to. Anyway, here's mine. You'll see I cut out this, this, that, and that using my Silhouette Cameo. I am doing the pictures from our vacation in August to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And, oh, it was, it was just an amazing vacation. Can I talk some more? Ooh, he needs a muffler. And not only did I get to see my grandson, Nate, experience the ocean and the beach for the first time in his life, but, and, not only did I enjoy sun, sand, and sea, I also saw a part of my son I've not got to see before. He was so in control and in charge and handled things so well. It was just a real awakening for me. Now listen, I'm very proud of my son. He's 31. He should be handling things well. But as a mom, I think that sometimes we still think of them as our babies. And maybe I'm the only person who would feel this. But just the way that he did things, I, oh, I hate to say this, I feel like I had more respect for him as a man and as a father than I do my husband, which is soon to be my ex-husband. You know, we're going through a divorce, so I guess it would be a little odd for me to have a lot of respect for him now. Although, me and the way I am, normally, even though I may not see eye to eye with someone, I would still have respect. And I hate to make this a a negative thing. I just am saying I was so proud of my son. So I experienced so many positives on this vacation. It was awesome. And I almost didn't go. Oh, I'm so glad I went. I am so glad. So here's my point. And back to the scrapbook thing. I'm doing a scrapbook album of this vacation. And where normally I wouldn't be very concerned about the journaling. A few sentences, the pictures tell the story, blah, blah, blah. I don't need a lot of journaling. But for this vacation, I really want to tell the story. I want to tell how I was feeling at the moment. I want to tell maybe what Nate said to me or what I was thinking about my son or my grandson. I have more journaling is the bottom line. So I'm finding that a little challenging for me. That's okay. I need a scrapbook challenge. You probably do too. So participate. Play along. There's no gift. I'm poor right now. I'm going to be a single girl. And listen, I'm saying that tongue-in-cheek here. I'm fine, but I just can't afford right now to put a price with this. But if you do a double-page layout, I'll be happy. And right now, can you hear that song? Because I'm happy. 
Oh my gosh, that was so popular when we was on vacation. If I heard that song one more time, I'm happy. I was going to hit my head into the wall. Anyway, there you have it. This is the double page. I needed to get the journaling on there. Hence the reason I don't have a whole bunch of embellishments on here. I felt like this was colorful. It shows the pictures I wanted to show. This is all of the pictures I have where my son buried my grandson in sand. I kind of like it. Over here you'll see I have some little uh, enamel dots. Over here I have this little um, puffy sticker and there's another one over here in the ME and there's another see the geotag those are all puffy stickers from American crafts I love those things you see I use this little Prima camera uh, clip these little jewels down here I don't know where they're from and when I bought them I thought they were something else I really like them well no, I didn't like them. When with when they arrived and I looked at them, I was like, that's not what I thought they were. But they fit well on this page, so glad I got them. I used my watercolors. You know, it's that little five, six dollar watercolor set that we all picked up from Michaels. This little clip over here is, oh. What is that? They come, they used to come in a little can. Freckled Fawn. Is that it? Yeah, Freckled Fawn. That's what that is. And these are all 4x4 four four pictures I had developed at Walgreens. And this is a 4x6. Oh, my journaling reads, The first day you, and then in brackets I placed Nate, The first day you went out onto the beach, you were like, Ew, what is this? with the sand. You didn't like it at all. Now look at you. You even swallowed a few pounds over the course of the week. And that is the story with this. The first day we got there and we were out on the beach, if he got one little kernel of sand on him, he was dusting it off and you could tell he was flustered and frustrated with the sand and I thought oh boy this is going to be a long eight days well I think this is probably our third day there and he was buried totally under the sand okay this is another uh, single page layout it's Eric and Nate again. It is a five by seven. This is our last day there, and they were just playing some paddle ball there, you know, where the waves brushed up. You know the good thing about playing paddle ball by the waves? If you hit it into the water, the waves bring it back for you. Don't you just love this? It is American Crafts confetti is the name of this and I just love that but I've had it for a few years now and I never I never knew how to use it I never had a photo that it fit with and that's the story on this too I love this it's Echo Park but I never could use it and I feel like this just really works I'm very I feel like I'm getting so much better with my layouts not to where I want to be but I can I just feel like it flows better these little stickers this what is that from darn it I don't know guys but you could easily put something like this together for yourself this is one sticker and it came off a sticker sheet but um, it's just a little sun peeking out from behind a cloud. These are thickers. Don't remember the name. My son and his son in the sun. And these are those little stickers from Simple Stories. 
these were in with this collection and look isn't that weird it has the and and that was part of the thickest collection this is also see I got a little geotag layered on top of the beach ball and that's also all of that is the simple stories um, snap collection and this is the summer collection heart summer same collection the heart paper in the background here is American crafts these uh, some things from my stash when I put all these three layers together at first it just looked simple it looked plain and as soon as I put the black behind it I feel like again it fell into place more stickers this little sticker is from the simple stories collection as it are the little three stickers here oh look I put this little tab over here and it says remember by now I've probably zoomed in so let's move it on never think because something is old or off trend you won't use it this rub on this one that one this and that oh and that are all from the Neapolitan collection from American crafts I mean how old is that right and here are those old my mind's eye uh, label stickers here's some washi tape remember this one with the hearts you know and then every now and then one's red the papers this paper you know the um, the brown stripe here is also Neapolitan what else this is American crafts I believe and this is Maggie Holmes or the pier I don't know why I can never remember which one this is see the little label back here look see what that is studio calico from a hundred years ago and then this little label I can't remember where it's from but it's old and because I used that there I had to bring in a little red so that's why I used this washi tape is to bring in that little bit of red and I I printed these pictures out using my Canon selfie that I won from O oh snap gonzo I was so glad that I I was able to do that because with the software these were on one four by six and then all four of these little pictures were on another four by six this is again remember what I said I want to tell so many stories so I laid down some vellum uh, I'm surprised this just didn't turn to ashes when I picked it up this vellum I got in like a booklet of 8 by 11 vellum about six years ago and I probably used two sheets and there's 20 left and I'm using this don't throw your stuff away don't give it away for pennies on the dollar keep it if you bought it that probably means you liked it and maybe someday you'll use it unless you just want to unclutter your craft area so here's the store well let me read you my journaling see I ran this through my printer and what I did you probably know how to do this but just in case you're new at this I typed these up on my word processor program and I separated it keeping in mind I had three landscape pictures and one portrait to fit in here and then these two landscapes so I had to mess with this a couple of times to get it right but it was worth it then I ran, I printed it on normal white paper. Then I went back, made sure everything was going to fit nicely into place. And then I took the vellum and taped it on to cardstock with washi tape and ran it through the printer. Because that way your uh, 
vellum goes through the printer so much easier. Okay, and plus you can also see if you have your words or phrases where you want them. This reads, okay, wow, on these waves. I've been to beaches on the Gulf side and the East Coast. These waves were so strong. Watch out, Nate. Punching the wave is not going to work. Look at the other people around you. They wonder why you are not getting the heck out of there. LOL. And I mean, look, he thinks he's going to punch this wave. And it's big. It's all the way up here. And here's poor little Nate. And look at all this. Look at this little girl. She's like, what is that silly white boy doing? But this was like his second day. And let me tell you something. I mean it. You know me. I have back issues. And my balance is off. I sometimes use a cane certain days. And most of the time I use my cane to like knock things out of the closet or to close the curtains with because I'm kind of short. But sometimes I really have to use it like to get up and down stairs and stuff. So... But this day, I was feeling pretty good. I'm the one out there taking the pictures. So, after we were taking the pictures, I put the camera away, and I go back out there. My son said, Mom, you better watch out, because those waves are really strong. And I was like, oh, you, who do you, I've been doing waves since before you were even thought of. So, I go out there, I take Nate's boogie board, I think, I'm going to ride the waves. I used to be very good at it. So I'm going to show these boys and everybody else on the beach how an old lady does it. Okay? I mean, I got out there. I had to tell Eric to walk beside me. And I told him, don't touch me and make me look old and crippled up unless I go under. If I go under, save me, because I will not be able to get back up. I'm not kidding. That's a true story, and I shall tell that somewhere, preferably in a hidden place, in this album. So that's the story on the waves. They were really strong. I'll read on. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if... It's because I am old now and my balance isn't good or if it was because these waves were actually strong. Tropical Storm Bertha was off the coast of Myrtle Beach during the week of August 5th, 2014. So this may be one of the reasons the waves were so rough and so big. But you'll see every picture here kind of focuses on big waves. Here's Nate flying in and his dad is over there watching him. Here's Nate going to punch the wave and make it go away, I guess. Here's Nate waiting for dad who's out here. I don't think that's his dad, though. Here they are hopping more waves. I mean, look at those. Here he is riding one, and I mean, if you could just see his face, maybe you will. I might be able to uh, zoom in close enough you can see him, but he has a little look of concern. And then here is where he got pushed up onto the beach by a huge wave. Oh, and look at this cute little um, paper clip. I've had this forever, too. I think it's from Seven Gypsies. Next, and here's my next layout. This is on the way to Myrtle Beach. These little Polaroids are from that photo Polaroid die cuts with a view paper stack that was so popular a couple of years ago. Remember that? Here are old October afternoon buttons. It's working. Uh, this is... These are those stickers from HSN, and they are by American Craft. No, no, Project Life. 
and you get like three to four colors of each. I think they may still have these on HSN, but it's kind of reminds me of the Dear Lizzie Amy Tangerine transparent kind of sticky alphabets. I really like that. It's the first time I used them though. Uh, you see this, my little splatters. That's Tiffany Blue from Lindy's Stamp Gang. First time I used it. Look at this. One of my favorite collections ever. And this is one of the chipboard stickers from Pink Paisley Hometown Summer. That is one of the very first um, collections I ever bought. And I only found out about it by YouTube. This, I forget what stickers these are. This is uh, Kelly Perky, October Afternoon. Uh, Remarks by American Craft. The nor normal old doilies. I think I got those from Paper Issues. This is a rub-on from the hometown summer collection. Here's my little, you know, punchy thing, whatever that's called, dino writer or whatever. This in back here is also hometown summer and this is Pink Paisley, A uh, Hundred Days of Summer. Remember that one? This is, oh gosh. I forget, guys. I'm sorry. So, let me zoom in on some things here for you. Oh, this is myself, my son, and my grandson. We were at the Holiday Inn Express in Asheville, South Carolina. And I think it's one of the first selfies I was ever in and they were taking selfies all morning and I was like um hello I'm on this vacation too so after that they let me in on the selfies and I did that using Picasa um, some of their photo editing like it, some of it's called Orton or you can make your pictures into a comic book and I just altered the image a little bit Look at this. I've been busy as a little bee. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I wish I could get consistent in loading videos. Like, at least do it once a week. Upload. And I'm going to try. Now the summer's over, so I have no reason. I'll have extra time. Um, I love YouTube. I may get a little burnout on scrapbooking, but... I'll be loving my YouTube. Anyway, I'll be back soon. Thank you.